Hello, everybody, and welcome to UC Tech Chat, where we discuss business technology, unified communications, and more for small and medium businesses. I am your host, Brian Ferguson. And I'm your co-host, Jason Mefford. Thank you for joining us. So today, Jason and I will be discussing something that's very important to every company out there, your phone lines. And specifically, we'll be talking about SIP trunking, what is important about SIP trunking, and how it can save your company money. Later, we'll check with Julie Webb as she answers a question about SIP trunking from Julie's inbox. Then we'll wrap up the show with our favorite 80s songs that talk about, you guessed it, phones. Phone calls, phone lines, or just calling folks. So let's get started. All right, so first a little background on SIP trunking. You know, SIP trunking is not about cocktails and tailgating. It's good you have that out of the way. So, so traditional phone lines or analog lines were traditionally delivered by your phone company. And those were great for voice, but they didn't do video at all. They didn't do any messaging or any other type of multimedia. And they were limited to one concurrent call per line, so very limiting. Next came T1, or PRI, digital lines, which provided 24 line calls per line, which really solved that problem. Um, and they did deliver multimedia, uh, video, instant messaging, and others, but they were really pretty expensive. In short, trunking is a method to dynamically deliver voice and video communications to various pieces of equipment over a data connection. SIP, or Session Initiation Protocol, is the standard communication protocol used for voice and video in a unified communication solution. A SIP trunk offers many benefits and can typically save your business money while offering increased flexibility. So a SIP trunk is typically delivered over your public or private internet, and it's uh, provided by what's called a SIP provider. Those SIP providers are often called ITSPs, or Internet Telephony Service Providers. All right, so let's talk about the cost savings that SIP trunking can provide. Uh, your company is probably dealing with an expensive PBX with traditional phone lines that are expensive as well, and you're still stuck with old communication technology. Typically, traditional circuits like analog or T1 PRI are costly. Charges for incoming phone lines, long distance, uh, hardware, and maintenance fees also apply. Many of those costs can be drastically reduced or eliminated by using a SIP trunking provider. SIP trunking also eliminates the physical connection to the phone company. There's no need to roll a truck to your location to install a circuit or support uh, a circuit. There are, are also no hardware, wiring, or circuit boxes to maintain for connection to the PSTN. Reducing multiple phone lines into a single point of entry can drastically reduce charges for incoming lines. Analog lines still have their benefits and use cases, however. If you have fax machines, uh, credit card machines, modems, or alarm systems, sometimes keeping analog lines for those applications is preferred. Great, so hopefully now you know a little bit more about SIP trunking. If you have any further questions, let us know at hashtag UCTechChat. So now we're gonna turn things to our favorite VoIP professional, Julie Webb, in Julie's inbox as she answers another question from one of our viewers. Julie? Thank you guys, that was super informative. Today's question comes from Evie, who lives in Mobile, Alabama. Evie's question is, how do I prepare my company for SIP trunking? Evie, to prepare your company for SIP trunking, you need to really assess your usage rate for your business communications. You need to consider how many people are on the phone at the same time during your company's busiest hours. The answer to this question will determine how many channels you will need. Remember, SIP trunks allow for quick and easy scaling, so you may add or remove channels as needed. Network considerations must be examined, including total available bandwidth. It's very important that your company has enough bandwidth from your internet provider to ensure you can manage the required number of calls for your company. Many times basic internet service is not enough. Equally important to bandwidth is quality of service, or QoS. QoS prioritizes your voice traffic and ensures that your phone calls are going to get the bandwidth needed, regardless of what else is happening on the network. A firewall is critical to maintain security, both within a LAN and WAN. For safety, it is essential to add E911. Thank you for the question, Evie. And folks, if you have questions for us, please send them to hashtag UCTechChat, and we'll either answer them here on the show or via Twitter. So Brian and Jason, my two favorite guys, have you ever noticed the number of phone-related 80s songs there are out there? Why don't you hit me up with some of your favorites? 
Okay, thanks, Julie. Well, let's go to the 80s, Jason. What are your favorite songs about telephone calls? So let's step into the 80s with one of the most popular phone songs of all time, Call Me by the band Blonde. Very nice. One of my favorites, Jenny, 867-5309 by Tommy Tujo. None of us knew it was called Jenny, but we did know the number for sure. Indeed. How about I Just Called to Say I Love You by Stevie Wonder, 1984. I just called to say I love you. All right, another one of my favorites, Mr. Telephone Man by New Edition. My personal favorite on the list, 1984 Operator by Midnight Star. This is an emergency. You gonna sing a little bit of that for us? I would, but that would embarrass my family. You're probably right. So, um, a great one, Baby Don't Forget My Number my, by German pop dance duo Millie Vanilli. Don't forget my number. And don't ask me if they sang it, I don't care, I just wanna dance. Speaking of dance, the telephone call from the German techno group Kraftwerk. All right, so we made a list. Yes, we did. All right, so let us know your favorite telephone song from the 80s, 90s, or new millennia. Let us know at hashtag UC Tech Chat. And thank you for joining us this week, and check us out next time on UC Tech Chat.